Hi everyone, my name is Deirdre Pike. I'm the Justice and Outreach Program Consultant for the Anglican Diocese of Niagara. Coming to you today from my backyard in downtown Hamilton. And I may have a helper here with Shazoo the Justice Cat. It is just a Friday. It's Friday, time to dig into a little justice work. You might notice a couple of raindrops appeared this morning, but that's okay because it's very much connected to the shout reach that I'm giving today. That's a shout out for outreach. And that goes to Grace Anglican in Waterdown. That parish has been able to carry on with a couple of their outreach efforts during the pandemic. One is connected to our priority area of climate justice. And in fact, they are having a rain barrel sale I wished I'd thought of getting in on that act sooner, but I am going to have a rain barrel delivered to my place for $65, $55 for the rain barrel, $10 for delivery. So I hope you're able to take advantage of that. And we have details of all of that on the Just News newsletter that you can access. And I'll tell you about in a moment. The second thing that they're involved in is connected to food security. They have been able to continue their program of serving food with grace. And that is a food bank program where they, uh, people in the community can come to the doors of the church and pick up food in a way that's still safe and following public health guidelines during this time. And so that's the shout reach today to Grace Anglican in Waterdown. Way to go. Now let's look at the justice issue for the week. And in fact, it's so robust that it will last us a couple of weeks. So this is your Just Friday for two weeks. And in fact, what we want to talk about today is just recovery. The Anglican Church of Canada has joined in with 150 other justice partners across Canada to sign on to six principles that we feel need to be adhered to in order to have an equitable recovery from this pandemic for all. And so, hashtag just recovery is what we're going to be paying attention to. And when you go to Just News this week, you'll find this and five other principles of the just recovery movement that we would love for you to support. The first one here, Put people's health and well-being first. No exceptions. You can find the five others when you head to Just News this week. And there is a link for you to go to a site where you can sign on and support those six principles. And as I mentioned, already the Anglican Church of Canada has signed on. So really our parishes have signed on. And so it's an opportunity now for individuals to say yes, this is how we think recovery should look in Canada. Now, the final thing I want to mention today, June is coming up and it is Pride Month. And it's going to be very unfortunate that so many communities will not be able to celebrate 2S and LGBTQ plus Pride this, uh, during the pandemic, of course. And so um, this diocese had already planned for a celebration uh, led by Bishop Susan Bell uh, for June 7th to mark Pride Month in the Diocese of Niagara. We are still going ahead with that plan. It's just going to be online like so many other things. People will know that 2S and LGBTQ people in this diocese and around the world and everywhere are fiercely loved. And Bishop Susan Bell will be presiding and offering the homily for this service that will air next Sunday, June 7th at 3 p.m. There'll be watch parties that you can find out more about if you head over to the niagaraanglican.ca website. And on that website, you'll find details about the fiercely loved pride service. You'll find a link to sign up for Just News where you'll find all the links you need for the things that I talked about today for Just Friday. 